Hi, hello. Very quick PSA before we start the video. Uh, I've noticed the comments about the webcam being too big. So that's going to change for the next episode onwards. Thanks. Enjoy the video. What's up guys, Games and welcome back to Pro Cycle 2021 for episode number 4 of our Intermarché Wanty Gobert career mode. Thank you very much for the support on the previous episodes. Today is a big one because we're going to have two water races in the same episode. I'm going to try and make it Below 30 minutes, that's the plan, uh, but we have Paris and Tirano, and maybe we'll have, I mean, we'll have, actually, no, Montserrat has been ridden already. We'll see if I can put Drent, Nokera, Denain, and the Bredneco Shit Classica during the episode at the end. We'll see if I can fit that in, uh, but yeah, quite a, quite a huge program for us, so hopefully we do well. And we're going to start this Paris with a plus 5 on Biniam Girmay. 76 sprint, 78 acceleration, decent secondaries uh, on a sprint that is a full flat finish, but I don't think that's going to play too much of a part. But it's an interesting, interesting uh, race day condition for Binyam. Uh, GC wise, we'll have uh, some decent riders, Bernal, Alaphilippe, Godu. I haven't checked the parkour at all of this Paris. I don't know if there's a mountain, but I'm going to guess if I put Louis Mentiès, that most likely is a mountain, also because Jan Hertz is there. So, yeah, let's just see how the boys from Intermarché will fare on French roads for about 8 days. We've entered the final 5 kilometers. Uh, Jan Bakelant is going to lead out Van Poppel, then Caravan Tyson, then Binyam. Uh, Louis Mentiès is there solely for the vibes, uh, as per usual. Uh, I'll have to restart my PC because, once again, frame rate is dropping. But there goes Caravan Tyson, Binyam still in the wheel. Mike Tunison is also there. Uh, we've dropped all of our leaders. Binyam. Biniam, Biniam, Bennett, oh for fuck's sake. It's a win for Sam Bennett ahead of Biniam Germe. I launched too early, but for a second, for a second I thought I had it. Stage 2 underway, uh, green jersey for Biniam Germe, white jersey for Carbon Tyson, and it appears that Carbon will be our sprint Saturday. Uh, he's got 77 sprints, so yeah, we're definitely going for him. Right, very flat stage, not much should happen today. 5k to go, we started our train uh, as we're starting, starting sorry, to see a few drops uh, of Jupiter. That's a, that's a, oh, that's a, that's a double entendre here. That's a, that's a nice bar. Nice. If you got it, good one. Um, but we started our sprint. Voim Purple, Girmay, Caravan Tyson. We're going to follow exactly what we did yesterday, except that this time we're sprinting for the Belgian and not for the Eritrean. Girmay is going to be nicely sat in the wheel of Von Purple. There goes Biniam, there goes Kerben Tyson. Can we hold on to the line unlike yesterday? Yes, we can, but it's a win for Biniam Gilme who holds on ahead of Mike Tunison and Kerben Tyson. It's an Eritrean win on this Paris, but mainly we have a new leader and it is a run of Intermarché. Gets in there. All right, stage three on the way. Plus four for Biniam Gilme. Our yellow jersey stage winner can potentially make it two on this Paris. And he's got the team to help him with. Great days all around, actually, for the team there. Final 4k. Uh, I'm trying to get Carbon Tyson, but I don't think he's there. I actually do not know where Carbon is. Oh, Carbon is slightly too far down here. Benny, I'm, I'm going to need you to, 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 to do something, and I don't know what it is yet. I think I need him to take the relevant purple. I think I need him to take the relevant purple, but we may be blocked here by Timo Rosen. We're going to avoid being blocked by Rosen. Can Biniam do anything? I've launched way too early though, that's, that's going to be my issue, yeah. It's, it's sadly too early to launch. I'm just going to lose to Bennett, who claims the yellow jersey yet again. P5 for Gamai. Um, I could have won, obviously, but the knee injury, innit? My entire team has fitness peaked. And they all were meant to fitness peak on Paris. Fuck me, I'm good at managing teams! Oh, the race day conditions are glorious. Plus 5 on Jan Heert, plus 5 on Mentius, plus 5 on Van Poppel. Get in there! Is there a mountain stage? Is this like the Turin or La Colmian? There's no mountain stage on this Paris. There's the Montbrouilly. Sadly, there's a 27 km time trial, which is the one thing I'm quite skeptical about. Because, I, I mean, we don't have decent time trialists. This is an interesting... This is interesting. It really is. 
Uh, we did pace in uh, the second and third cat respectively to try and drop riders. We've dropped the yellow jersey of Sam Bennett. He's uh, a couple of meters back. Mark Hershey and Mass Nada have been dropped already. That is rather interesting. Uh, Kobe Horsens has also uh, been a victim of our rhythm. That was to be expected, if we're being honest. Uh, all right, Germay is going to take the lead. Uh, sorry, no, 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 not Germay. Jan Hert is going to be the one pacing for us now. And we'll see what happens. We reached the final five. Jan Hertz, Luis Menzies, Biniam Germay. That is our train. Uh, I mean, we have a decent sprinter with Biniam, obviously, uh, and the plus three. But we don't have good lead outs, nevertheless. Uh, Julian Appel trying to attack on the left hand side of the road here, trying to catch maybe Catane Godu and Bala Valverde, who had previously uh, made a move. Uh, she hadn't studied the finish. Okay, that's no, fine. That's fine. Menzies leads out Germay. Julian, Julian Sclair is Julian Sclair. Michael Matthews comes back. Bargill, Biniam versus Michael Matthews. It's an Aussie win. Today in Belleville, ahead of Biniam Germay, Patrick Bevin and Alberto Betiol. Sadly, sadly, we missed out on the win today. But what a stage. Uh, and honestly, decent result for us. All right. Race days aren't as good as they were yesterday, uh, or at least not for the, the riders that really matter. Although, that plus five on Biniam Germay could be Peng heading into the Montbrouille. Back along with another plus five as well, that's good. Jan Hert and Louis Mendes both, both rocking a zero. Would have loved to see a, maybe like a plus two, plus three for him. Um, considering you've got a time trial tomorrow, if I want to have a decent GC position, I need to have a good position today. I need to like capitalize on stages where I can gain time. Today is one of the stages. But I feel like it's just not meant to be. I think like Biniam Germay will, uh, will be our leader. That Romain is six minutes down. Right, you fell off. Oh my god. Alexander Vlasov crashed once, Bora waited for him, and he just crashed again. Walk on. Also, like this is this is ridiculous. They're five minutes down now. Vlasov has lost Paris. You can add Bernard to the list of riders that just crashed with Mark Soler. Um it means an interesting situation up front. Okay, I mean, most of the riders came back, but we had like Mentes, Bacolons, Germay, uh, Hirt and Horsens being like the five riders of our team in a 30 man group. So we were actually not doing too badly for once. And we're going to start the Montbrouille for the second time today. The final time, to be, uh, to be precise. All right, Biniam, good position. Mentes, good position. Bacolons, best possible position. We're leading this group. We're gonna pace, we're gonna avoid being blocked by Valentin Madouas, our, uh, our French, French rider. Uh, acceleration on the right for Joao Almeida, Mark Hirschi, they did not wait for Mark Soler, who's still uh, quite far behind, but I mean, that's expected. If you're, if you're Mark Soler, you're expected to crash and to like not be awaited by your, uh, your teammates. That's kind of like a, a rule of two, or whatever is the, the name in English, I don't know the, the, the math terms for that. Bacolance, Gemai, Paris Pantre, Warren Barguil, Biniam, 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 Girmay is a two-time winner stage, or two-time stage winner on Paris-Nice as he takes stage five ahead of René Pipeintre and Joao Almeida. Get in there! All right, the time for has begun uh, quite a while ago. We've got Mentes and Girmay left to begin. Best time right now so far for us is Jan Hertz, and I expect Jan Hertz to be our best finisher. Probably in the times of Louis Mendes, I mean, I reckon Mendes will be slightly below, below, uh, like a like a one fifty five is what I'm expecting uh, as a loss on Ghana. Yeah, it's it's harsh, it's harsh. Sixty six times probably there's there's not much you can do with a uh, with a note like this. Mendes is going to cross the line. I think I've managed the time troll fairly well. Uh, overall, two sixteen ah. That's a lot more than I expected. That's behind Kobe Horsens. Ghana takes the win ahead of Dennis and Remco Evenepoel. GC wise, Dennis, Remco, Patrick Bevin uh, were dropped to P20 with Mentes 208 behind. Gemai 325, Jan Hayat 346, with two stages left. Solid there all around. Uh, plus three for Biniam. I'll try and send both him and back Alonso in the breakaway. Hopefully, I can get some support from other teams. Uh, like. I don't know, if I only get like one rider from Total and like one from UOX, I may struggle to get far, but if we could get some proper help, like a, a 10 to 12 rider breakaway, 
14k to go when uh, the final uh, main climb. Uh, did I make a, the breakaway with uh, Bacalons and Gamay? Yes and no, I made it with Gamay, uh, not with Bacalons. Was it a good breakaway? No, we had like four riders. Uh, are we going to benefit from it? The answer is no, because Binyam just got dropped with 1.8k to go until the summit of the Côte de Ribot. Uh, but Louis Mentiès is in a decent position. I reckon I need to hold off, uh, I need to have Bacalons with me after the summit. And if we do that, there's a chance that we could win the stage. Because this hill right there is going to be key. The yellow jersey is dropped. Who was yellow jersey? Oh, was it Ghana? Oh, yeah, it was Ghana. I guess that's not exactly surprising to see him, uh, to see him conk or bonk out of the race this early on. Uh, I may have murdered Luis Mentes without really wanting to here. Accelerations on the left. Barde? Yeah, Roman Barde. Yates, Bernal, never so yes, that's literally, uh, that's just again Bernal, again, screen freezes for the vibes. Uh, four riders fighting for the win, Bernal, Almeida, I mean, I'm gonna lose the stage, that's, that's for sure. The win is for again Bernal today, uh, undefeatable, unbeatable, just, just Ineos Grenadiers, there we go, it's gonna be P5 for us with Lumen, yes. Nelson Oliveira is going to manage to get P4, and that could be the new leader of this Paranis. Plus 4 for Binyam, plus 2 for Mentiès, plus... Actually, minus 2 for Jan Hertz. Okay, uh, injury for Von Purple, hopefully not too big a deal. Um, Binyam has taken both the lead in the points and mountain classification, so I reckon there's something to be done with him. I'll try and get Jan Bacalans, um to help him out furthermore in the stage. Quentin Jorig has attacked, that's not too bad. Don't really care about him, if I'm honest. Jacopo Mosca is going for the points. Alright, we'll try and follow the Italian. See where we go from here. There's been a crash. There's been a crash involving Peyo Bilbao. He was fourth this morning in this Paris. It's very likely that he's going to lose positions. That's good news for Louis Mentes. Uh, probably moving up one spot at least. Uh, we'll try and move up by more, but I don't exactly know how I'm going to manage that. Because I'm pretty sure everyone is there. Nelson Oliveira is still there. The fact that Nelson Oliveira could win Paris solely because of one time trial is ridiculous. Uh, also, Binyam has lost the lead of the mountain classification to Jonathan Hiver, who's right there. So if we could come back at him, that'd be great. Come on, come on, Binyam, you're, you're, you're there, you're there, you're right there. Ah, he's not going to make it, no, he? No, he's not. Shit. Uh, well, Mentes is going to get the points, but that's not going to change anything. Jonathan Hiver would be the best climber. Uh, we still have a chance at beating the best, at being the best sprinter, I guess. Absolutely shambolic finish. Uh, we got dropped three times in this downhill portion. Uh, we did eventually make a comeback though, but energy-wise we're, we're, we're slacking. There goes Binyam Gamay. The win today is going to be for Warren Margiel, Fulsang, Lutsenko. Binyam with a top 5 finish, maybe? Top 6? I guess Almeida gets it. Yeah, Olivera Almeida. Olivera with P4 wins Paris. That's one of the worst winners I've seen on Paris, purely stats-wise, in like, ever. Good news, Manchester finishes in the first group. Meaning that I'm going to be P9 of this Paris. We're going to win the green jersey. Uh, we'll be second of the mountain one. Honestly, I guess I could be... It could have been worse, right? We've had a nice Paris, I think. Time to wrap up Tirana there. In the meantime, we have another part of the team in Italy for the race between two seas at Tirana and Ratico. Uh, decent lineup for us. Sprinting-wise, we'll be counting on Andrea Pascolan um, from the first stage onwards with a nice flat finish. GC West, Domenico Pedroia. We're into the final 5 kilometers. Uh, not too much wind on the final straights here in, um, in Lido di Camaiore. Unlike in London Heathrow, where I'm currently watching Planes Land with 200,000 people on YouTube premiere. Or I mean, on, on YouTube stream, I guess. This is a glorious day. I forgot to use the gel, which is very sad. Uh, ah, shit. I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. I thought that Rota was my sprinter. It turns out it was Pasqualon. Uh, well, it's not going to be a good sprint. It's a win today for Caleb Ewan ahead of... Actually, no, it's Von Aert. Von Aert, Gaviria, Caleb Ewan. Can you hold on? No, he cannot. It's Mats Pedersen. P6, 8, and we'll go like 14. Yep. Yeah. All right, not bad. Stage 2 between the two Cs, plus 3 for Georg Zimmermann, who's currently wearing the uh, green jersey of Mountain Leader, because uh, I sent him in a breakaway for the vibes. Zero for Domenico Bodovo, hopefully can hold on in the climb towards Camayore, I think. Nope, between, uh, actually, between Camayore and Chiusdino. We'll see if he can hold on. Lorenzo Rota is another shout as well. Uh, I reckon we can do somewhat well today. 
We're struggling. We're really struggling in uh, in this stage. Georg Zimmermann is actually the most solid rider there is right now for me. Uh, the plus three really, really helping the German out. Todd is knackered. Rota, knackered. I mean, I guess we've done the toughest part. Those two climbs, those two hills really where the peloton just went completely mental on them. Uh, like pacing solid 95 throughout the entire climbs. Uh, it's just not a sustainable rhythm for my team. But we did make it through. Hopefully we can recover in this little downhill portion. Peloton is most likely going to go crazy before the IS. Uh, and then if we're lucky, we can hold on in the final climb and get a, get a nice result. But I'm not exactly uh, confident that we will. There goes the final five kilometers. We've had an attack. Gianluca Rambia is leading uh, the uh, race so far with 3k to go. Rota is going to protect Zimmerman. Uh, yeah, yeah, Rota is going to protect Zimmerman. Even though Rota is the fastest rider and better in hills, uh, the energy is just so in favor of the German that we're going to have to use him. Uh, if Lorenzo can take the lead though, that would be great because that's kind of like your job here. Thank you. We came back on Brambia, acceleration air by Wout van Aert, Primoz Roglic, directly in the wheel of the Belgian. We're losing a lot of positions, but hopefully we can ma potentially make him now. There goes the sprint of Zimmerman. The win up front will be for Lotto Jamborada. It's going to be a 1-2 actually. Roglic ahead of Wout van Aert, Izagiri, Schachmann. Zimmerman came back though with a nice, nice finish. It's going to be a top 10 for, um, well, I mean, I guess our leader now. Unless that still is Lorenzo Rota. We'll see if there's gaps. Yet another plus five for Georg Zimmermann, having a very solid start of this Tirreno Adriatico. If that can keep up with like the Prati di Tivo stage, which I believe is the next one, could be on something. Could be on something. Rota would be good there as well, uh, but today is a sprint, so it's gonna be for Andrea Pascolo. 5k to go. As we reach Gualdo Tadino, we're gonna use the gel on everyone. Accelerate a lot with Laurence Hus trying to put some of the pressure on uh, the proper sprinters. All right, come on. Nope, 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 nope. I've, uh, I've made a mistake, but it's fine. We've recovered. We've literally lost all of the advantage I had created, but it's fine. We're going to make it. We're going to push through with Lorenzo Rota, 1.2k, Pascolon in the wheel. It does ease up eventually. There goes Georg Zimmermann. And with all the corners, fuck off. Georg Zimmermann wins ahead of Caleb Ewan and Andrea Pasqualon. Okay, I did not see that coming. <laughs> I did not see that coming as Tobias first just crashed. The Norwegian taking a fatel. All right, plus three for Georg Zimmermann. Plus three for Pozzo Vivo. Uh, oh, well, yeah, plus five for Laurent Hus. Decent days all around. Uh, are we going to win the stage? No, definitely not. Uh, could we try to do well? Yeah. And from the very beginning of the climb, we've got some attacks. Caruso is the first one to uh, start. What? Peter Sagan is it? Okay. Davide Chimolai? Caleb Ewan? What? Okay. I'm gonna suspect it's because there's the IS coming up. Maybe they're just stupid. Could be the second one. 2k to go, Zimman struggling, he's at the back of the group, he's still holding on, but I don't think he's going to make it. Domenico Pozzovivo will not win the stage either, but there's potentially a chance or a world in where he doesn't get dropped. Uh, although he is throwing us down in the GC, so I mean, like that, that's already out of the question. It's going to be a win for Sebastian Kuss here, which we'll, we'll call him Sebastian. Oh, actually, I've, I've spoke too soon. It's a win for Rigo Uran, ahead of Thibaut Pinot, Kuss, Caruso, and Domenico Pozzovivo. Not bad. Unless I get jumped by the Ineos boys. Yep, yet again, I'm going to get jumped just like on the man or on the UAE by Ineos. Carapaz, Karen Thomas, and then Domenico Pozzoviva. Oh, wait, no, I'm just dumb. Tade Pogacar won by 130. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see him. I was like, there's no way I lost 143. But yeah, I didn't. I lost 15 seconds, technically. All right, GC-wise, we're still P5 with Georg Zimmerman. Nice. All right. Lovely day all around. Plus 3 for uh, Zimmerman, plus 5 for Laurence Hus, plus 4 for Pozzo Vivo, 0 for Rota. In a stage that's quite tricky. Now, if you know how to play this stage, it is basically impossible to lose it. But as granted, you've got the riders to win it. I reckon Hus, potentially Domenico, have a shot. 
I don't think Georg Zimmerman is quite there yet. Rush involving Giulio Ciccone and I believe Enric Mas was the other rider involved. Nero Quintana is also there. Where is Enric Mas actually? Oh, is he further behind? Is he further behind and he's dropped? He is. He's there. He's dropped at a very bad time because the peloton is sprinting in the climb towards uh, Monte Guidiccio. I'm having to go 90 and I'm pretty certain I'm going to get dropped. That ain't fun. All right, we're in the downhill portion towards, uh, well, towards the finish line, I guess. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll have one more lap of this circuit around uh, Cappuccini. Uh, not a type of coffee, although uh, I would not mind uh, having one right now. Again, the offer to Starbucks is still well and truly on the table. Uh, I don't think I'll ever remove it because I'm, um, I'm craving for both a Starbucks and a sponsorship. <laughs> Um, but we're going to accelerate in uh, the final 3k between uh, or before the summit. This is where you need to pull through. This is exactly where you need to make your difference. If you want to win this stage, you got to be first at the summit of Cappuccini. Otherwise, there is no way in hell you are winning this stage. We're going to first make the comeback on uh, Davide Formolo. Use the gel on Domenico Pozzovivo. Formolo is going to try and launch maybe another attack here. Formolo looks good. Formolo looks quite good. Davide Formolo seems to have the legs to, uh, to do quite well today. I feel like Lorenz Huss might be my best shout at winning. If I'm being uh, genuinely honest here. Yeah. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, I may stop Lorenz. Yeah, there we go. That's how you do it. This is how you do it. We'll take the wheel of, uh, of Arnold with Lorenz Huss. And then... Downhill we go for Domenico Pozzovivo and Georg Zimmermann. Can we hold off Michal Kutkowski, Bo Van Aert and Lorenz Hus? I, I, I don't know. That was, a, that was more of an open question. Uh, oh, actually, actually, Lico Gap, you know. Lico Gap, Lico Gap. Pozzo, Zimmermann, Kutkowski is making a comeback. Lorenz Hus is making a comeback towards the first group. Well, I mean, actually, no, the second group now, I guess. 1.3k, there goes Zimmerman, there goes everyone in our team. We do have a gap with Van Aert, but the, the, the Belgian is quite quick. He is one of those riders that can make a comeback, but he won't. Pozzo Wivo, more like Ponzo or Pozzo Winvo. Oh shit. Um, wins, get in there. Zimmerman P3, come on. Come on, the boys, let's go. I said, if you know how to play this stage, it's basically impossible to lose it. I said Zimmerman may not have the legs, but someone like Lorenz Hus or Pozzo could. It's a win for the 39 year old! Come on, DC Wives, move up to P4. Uh, don't tell me it's a time trial in. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's a time trial. Uh, well, I mean, I'd, it was nice being in P4 for, for like a second. But yeah, we're, we're gonna get overtaken by. We're gonna lose the top 10. We're, we're going to do exactly what we did on Paris Nice. Have great results all around and then lose the time trial. I need to sign a time trial this next year. I really do. I don't spend stage here in Italy. Plus five yet again for Zimmerman. Minus one for Pascolo, the only rider I needed to have a good day today. Good. 3k to go. Uh, it's gonna be a shit show of a sprint. That I can tell you as Georg Zimmerman is gonna try and kick out of the wheels. Uh, we're, we're blocked by many, many, many riders here. There goes Lorenzo Rotta. Zimmerman is holding on quite nicely. He's not going to win, though. Uh, the win is going to be for Wolf Van Aert, I think. I don't know. Uh, riders are doing a bit of a moonwalk there. It's B4 for Pascal and Arthur oh, Foxic Pinogor P3. So he's now closer to me in the GC. For fuck's sake. Van Aert as well. Ah, uh, uh, we're ropes. Pudivu makes his start in this time trial. He was 14th this morning. It is likely uh, that he will be our highest finisher. In this time trial, I'm gonna sit back in my chair because I'm pretty sure my head was cut off. Um, can he make any moves GC wise? Yes, he most likely can go backwards if Richie Port and Mark Padden have a better time than he does. Uh, I'd suspect Richie Port will. Uh, I, d I don't hope, I mean, I don't think that Mark Padden will be better, but you never know. It's Mark Padden after all. Richie Port 11 seconds. Why do I feel like I'm slower than the others? Why, why do I feel like this is not the rhythm I should have gone for? I should have gone higher. He will still be our best finisher, but across the line, 40 seconds down for uh, Pozzovivo. We do lose to Richie Port and most likely to Mark Padden. Yes, we do indeed. Brilliant. There goes Georg Zimmerman though. All right, I've learned my lesson. I know not to go too, too low, so we're going to start at 86. Good thing is we've got 70 time trial. Bang on. 
Uh, is it enough to defeat the riders ahead of us or below us? N no, 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 just, just no. Uh, if we're going to finish in the top 10 of the GC, honestly, I'll take it. It's not even that bad of an effort from uh, Georg Zimmermann, P1 for Wout von Aert. Okay, that's, that's, that's not what I wanted to see. Across the line for Zimmermann, 43 seconds. All right, let's make the maths. Uh, von Aert overtakes us. Then Kemna, 22, we're at 43, that's 19. Uh, we're staying ahead of Lenny Kemna. Thio Pino, staying ahead of him, right? Yeah, we are. Ketkowski, we're not. Roglic, Le Mau. Okay, Caruso? Ah, huh? it's like. <laughs> right, good, lovely. Uh, it's gonna be P8 of the GC for us. Once again, my mathematics skills are on point as we finish in P7 and not 8. Uh, Kemna did not overtake us. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, yeah, it's just I can't count. Right, that's good to know. Uh, P7 for us. Stage wins. Just like Paris. Decent all around. All right, we're going to wrap up the episode here because uh, my, my recording time is at like, what, 2.30? Yeah, 2 hours 30 now. Um, I can feel my PC slowing down towards death. And also, I'm pretty sure that's like already way too much content for one episode. So I don't know how I'm going to cram everything in, but I'm going to try to do that. So yeah, decent episode all around. Give my one twice, Zimmerman won, Dominico Podolevo won, we finished best sprinter, we are both top 10s in general classifications. Again, with the team I have, I'm really trying to make the most and extract every single capacity I can. So I think I could have done slightly better on Paris Nice at one point. But that's in the past, gotta look for the future, in the future. Starts with MSNR, uh, that is Milano San Remo, not Messi, Suarez, and Ricky Pooch. Uh, but yeah, San Remo, then Catalonia, and uh, De Pan et Trois Gamble Game for the next episode with uh, those shit races here in the background. Hopefully, you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new to your channel and want to see more of my content in the coming days or weeks, then feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already. But I will see you in the very next future. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. Pass me the phone, get your phone.